I'm about to go on a food tour with St. Thomas Food Tours. And I'm actually in front of Fort Christian, which is where we meet up. But I'm excited to try a whole bunch of different foods from the Caribbean and also learn a little bit more about the Virgin Islands. Fort, in addition to the fort obligations, it was a church, a prison cell still in place down there. It was the residence of the governor for a little while and army barracks. If you want, you can go up on the top deck and uh, up there, there's a beautiful flat surface where you can get a great view of the harbor. They burned down around 12,000 buildings over the years of slavery in the downtown area. Finally, uh, they got the idea that uh, slavery wasn't going to work here, which is why we beat the states by almost 20 years. Usually, for sure. We are headed to Gladys Cafe. Gerard, our tour guide, was telling us that Gladys has had this business open for years. So Gladys is almost hitting 70 years old and she's been cooking for years since she was a teenager. She's the oldest of 12 children and she just adores cooking and she has such a huge heart. He was saying that during the hurricane season when Hurricane Irma and Maria hit, she had a sign um, on the streets that said, are you hungry? There's free food at Gladys's cafe. Not only excited to eat the food, but I'm also excited to meet Gladys because she sounds like an angel. We just heard your story. He said really wonderful things about you. She makes one of the best hot sauces in the world, and it's so hot that she has to wear goggles and rubber gloves as she's making the sauce. Oh, I'm definitely gonna try the hot sauce. Are you gonna try this? Because I'm ready to try it. Sure. These are Gladys's hot sauces. We have the mango one, and then this is, wait, where, how do you? Mango. No, this oh, is this is mango. mango. No, this oh, one's mango. This is mango. This is mango. And then vinegar, mustard, and tomatoes. There you go. <laughs> Gladys wakes up at five o'clock in the morning every day to go get the most fresh fruits and uh, vegetables and fish. This place is definitely known for its quality of just fresh food. I can see it in the collard greens. It was very delicious, very well made, and not too oily. So, A plus. I want more. Okay. See what I can see, what I can get. And you gotta be early. Nice, to, you nice to meet you. By the way, Gladys does not look like she's anywhere near 70. She looks like she's like in her early 50s. I mean, this woman, talk about work really making you strong. The fact that she works so many hours, wakes up at five o'clock in the morning to cook and do her business, and she still looks super healthy and full of life and resilient. That is just admirable. I ordered us beef pancakes, and it's spicy beef wrapped in a wonderful dough that gets fried, not terribly greasy, very, very tasty. Pâtés are one of the most famous dishes that you must try when you visit the Caribbean. And we are here in St. Thomas. They have chicken, they have beef, they have seashell, shrimp, all sorts of flavors. I've never had a pâté. I was told by a local that I cannot leave the island without having a pâté. So I'm looking forward to this very much. My first pâté. So Gerard, you said what does it have inside? Spiced beef. Spiced beef. And a bunch of things that they won't tell me about. Ah, uh, it's a secret recipe. That's a secret recipe. <laughs> really delicious. Lots of flavor. Good. Mm. Hey, Gerard's joining us on a wish wish wagger. 
Bush, 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 Bushwhacker, Bushwhacker, Bushwhacker. It's the drink of uh, St. Thomas. The problem with it is that it tastes like the most delicious milkshake you ever had. Oh no, that's a problem. It's all booze. <laughs> we are about to have a Bushwhacker here at the Drunken Clam but we're only gonna have one, so there's not gonna be a drunken clam here. Um, <laughs> but this is the location. I'm really digging the music, the vibe. I like it. Cheers, our bushwhackers have arrived. Thank you, Gerard. Thank you. So you said, you said the bushwhacker has coconut rum, white rum, vanilla vodka, Kahlua, Amaretto. That's a lot of alcohol. Bailey's Irish cream. Bailey's Irish cream. Thank you, Gerard. Thank this you is a lot of fun. So the historic Main Street with St. Thomas Food Tours was incredible. Gerard was an amazing tour guide. He knew all of the facts and history about St. Thomas and he took us to some of the best places here. So I really love the St. Thomas Food Tour. It was very insightful and we got a taste of the Caribbean life food. Mm, so good. You guys visit St. Thomas. Be sure to book a tour with St. Thomas Food Tours because not only will you learn a lot and taste some amazing food, but you'll probably end up with Gerard. And just a little side note, we got a chance to really get to know Gerard and just hear not only the history of St. Thomas, but things that occurred um, during the Hurricane Irma and Maria situation. And really the people from St. Thomas and just Virgin Islands, the US Virgin Islands are so resilient. I mean, he mentioned that he had not had um, electricity for four months and is still in love with this island and he was so passionate about sharing stories and history and um, he was like there's nothing like St. Thomas. So if you guys decide to take a vacation and you have no clue where to go you know maybe start with St. Thomas because it was really an awesome experience just getting to hear his side of the story um, about the hurricanes and also the history and the food oh my god. But anyways thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Goodbye!